The holiday season is finally upon us, and that means a whole lot of holiday parties. But you don't want to show up empty-handed, so today I'm going to show you my three favorite hostess gifts, and they're all a little spicy. This video is part of a larger playlist of all sorts of edible gifts brought to you by some of my favorite YouTubers. So be sure, once you're done watching this video, to check out all of the other great edible gifts in this playlist. Now let's get on to some tasty hostess gifts. For the wine enthusiasts, we are going to be making mulling spice sachets. For the tea lover in your life, I've got my amazing chai tea blend. And finally, for your favorite foodie, I've got some herbe de Provence, perfect for French cooking. Let's get started with our mulled wine spices. Now as far as I'm concerned, this collection of spices actually tastes like the holidays. Now if you're not into wine, you can actually also use these to mull apple cider. Equally delicious, just without the booze. For this process, we are going to start by creating our sachet. Now I've just cut the cheesecloth into a few squares and stacked them on top of each other. I also have some butcher twine standing by to tie this all up when we're done. The first flavor we're gonna be working with is some dried orange zest. Now all I did is shave off some orange zest and then pop it in the oven at about 200 degrees for an hour. So we're going to add a little bit of this orange rind to our package. They pack quite a flavor punch, so you don't need to actually add too, too many. I'm gonna go for maybe five to seven. Then to that, we are going to add some delicious holiday flavors. I've got some cinnamon sticks that I've just broken into pieces. I've got some green cardamom pods. I've got some star anise. Star anise has a beautiful licorice flavor. I've also got some whole cloves over here. And finally, I've got some beautiful red peppercorns. Now I'm using red peppercorns because I think they look so, so pretty in this little sachet. But if you can only find black peppercorns, they will work just as well. All we're gonna do is wrap this up in a little package and tie it up with our butcher twine. What could be easier than that? It smells so delicious and makes the perfect gift when paired with a nice bottle of wine. Next up is our beautiful chai tea blend. So in a bowl, I've got some loose black tea. Then in a zipper bag, I'm going to put some cardamom pods and some cinnamon sticks. I'm going to use my rolling pin to smash them up into sort of smaller bits. Then I'm gonna add them to the black tea. To that, I'm going to add even more flavor. I've got fennel seeds, some coriander, some cloves, and some peppercorn. Again, I'm using the pink peppercorns because they're just so, so pretty. You could totally use black if that's what you have on hand. And I'm gonna finish this all off with a little bit of candy ginger that I've chopped up really finely. I'm gonna stir this all together really, really well. Pour this mixture into a decorative mug and then attach a little tea ball for infusing. What could make a more delightful gift? Our final hostess gift is perfect for the food enthusiast in your life. We're making homemade herbe de Provence. This is just a delicious combination of all sorts of dried herbs that's perfect on things like poultry or beef or even in vegetable dishes. So for this beautiful spice blend, we are going to be mixing together some dried thyme, some dried rosemary, we've got some savory, some marjoram, and finally, we are adding a little bit of dried lavender. It's actually very easy to find at your local health food store. If you can't find it, don't sweat it at all. You can leave it out and it's still a delicious herb blend. We're gonna mix these together really, really well and put them in a decorative jar. Boom, you have the perfect gift for the hostess with the mostess. I hope you'll give these delicious edible gifts a try and be sure to check out all of the other edible gifts in this playlist. I'm sure you'll find all sorts of tasty gift giving inspiration. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.